Okay, so this is something really neat that I found out. <clears throat> so, you know, just this is just the regular Tesla coil setup I have. Six, uh, mm, yeah, six beer ball capacitors, uh, 3,000 volt D shunted neon sign transformer. Spark gap, I just covered it with duct tape because it's really bright. And test the coil and the secondary coil. Bunch of the windings are poking off, but you know, this isn't really something I want to put a lot of effort into. Half ass Tesla coil. Primary. Now you know. If I just turn it on, see the output there. It's like a good centimeter spark, but here's something really neat that I didn't know. Right here's a light bulb. Light bulb, I think it's 25 to 35 watts. And give me a second. Okay, so right here the light bulb's just attached to where the primary coil on the Tesla coil would be. And you know this Tesla coil, it's really, really small compared to what the other ones on the YouTube are. This one's powered by 3,000 volts and normally people get those like big gigantic neon sign transformers that are like 12,000 volts. And, like, like, this is really small, but look how much power it has. I mean, right here, light bulb's just connected where this primary would be. Watch. Now, that really surprises me. I mean, that's, I know it's only 35, like, 25 to 35 watts, but that's, that's a lot. I mean, considering how small that is, that's like, you know, it's a lot. And you know, oh, I heard something snap. Oh. So it's just, I, I, I'm really surprised how much power that's putting out into that bulb.